gosh. Are we ready? We're going. We're ready. Mm-hmm. Skibbity bop ba doo bop ba doo ba da boo the come up TV. <sighs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worms and dogs? You're watching TCU TV. My name's Catfish Swagger Jacker. I'm joined by my good friend Nate Richter. Hello. Our guest today, the man under the microscope, Pat Casey. What the fuck what is up? up, Pat? Yeah, it's nice to be here. We are super Thanks psyched. For me. This is your first time uh, to the uh, to the OSS store, huh? Yeah, it's my first time here. It's because it's like 75 miles away, so. Yeah, you are. Either where, you, where, you are where are you living at? Uh, I live in Riverside. Riverside. And how far is that from L.A. proper? 70 miles? Uh, from here, it's 75 miles, so yeah. Just Come a little bit. Mission. He left two days ago to get here. Yeah. Bit there's, of a mission to get here. There's a big, uh, a big difference between Los Angeles and what, where you live. It's called the Inland Empire. Well, I'm, I'm just letting our fans out there. We got kids all over the world yeah. who like to know about California. What's the big? What's the difference? Why do you Why do you prefer the Inland Empire as opposed to LA? Uh, population really like just it's so populated and packed here. I wanted to move out to somewhere where I could buy some land and actually like build ramps and dirt jumps and do what I want on my own property. So that's why I moved out to Riverside. You got a crazy yard, a yeah. dream yard. Yeah, hey, I, you get, I heard you got, you're getting in trouble with the neighbors right now. Is yeah, that a thing? Uh, well, all my neighbors love me, actually. Like, for the most part, like, most of them just pull up a chair and sit down and watch. And uh, But there's only there's one neighbor that the other day when we were... There's reading, always one. Yeah, we were, we were doing the dirt jumps, like, just changing the whole line. And the neighbor came out just heated, like... And I was like, whoa, bro, like, what's what's the deal? Like... I don't know what's going on. He's like, see all this water, like all the water from the rains, washing all this dirt into my yard, all that. And I'm like, whoa, this fence has been this high ever since I moved here. If anything, I'm taking all this dirt and stacking it up. Right. Like I'm making, I'm walling it out and making it into like big mounds of dirt. I'm using the dirt. And I was like, yo, I'll hop over the fence and dig all that out if you want me to. And he's like, no, it's not what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, well, we'll, and then Adam was there. Mm Mm-hmm. Adam Alois, and uh, he's like, yo, I'll dig this out right here, and it'll slow down the water and keep it on this side of the fence. Like, we'll build, like, a curb, pretty much, so it just stays on this side of the fence. And then we did that, and I went out, like, a few days later, and I was like, yo, it was raining. It's been it's been a crazy winter. Yeah, like, it's been a lot of rain. super hard in California. And then, uh, so I went out there and told him, I was like, yo, you see this? Like, it's working great. And he's like, yeah, yeah, thank you. But I think he already went in and called the county, and like, that day, so. Do you have but, permits for your yard? No, there's really? no permits Nothing? or anything, but uh, now I have to. So that's what the deal is pretty much. I basically just have to get everything permitted. And it said for the dirt, I have to return everything to its original state. But I'm going to go through and try to get the permits for that, too. So. Dirt is dirt. It's already in its original TJ state. TJ Levin yeah. had to go through that shit, too, right? In Vegas? Yeah, he had to build a wall yeah. that was high enough or something? Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, there's, okay, there's like one section that it's over the fence really you know it's not even it's weird you, you i would think your neighbors would be more upset with the noise from the ramps dirt jumps are quiet yeah i never even i mean not never but like the dirt is a lot of maintenance you know for me to ride the dirt it takes hours of work to even get it running so especially if it's rain like this like it's not even rideable right now so it's like i don't really see the complaint but he was complaining about the dirt and then the guy came over and saw the ramp too so there's that. So now I have to pay thousands of dollars to even get it so I can keep it your damn house. neighbor. Or who, who, destroy fun it. patrol. What's dude. he look like? I'm yeah. picturing what your neighbor looks like. I don't know your neighbor, but I'm just picturing what this mean man looks like. Who would play him in the movie? Uh, <laughs> I'm picturing like an know. Ebenezer Scrooge type. Does he have a yeah, cane? Kinda, no, he's like a. I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about my neighbor too much. But yeah, I don't want to put you. Yeah, he watches this. He's in court. Yeah, he's in court. He doesn't have permits. He's like a bald. Bald businessman. We love you, bald so, businessman. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I imagine like, Ethan Corrier in like oh, at does, 45. I don't know. Uh, kind of does, not doesn't like what we do, but he's... They well, maybe out, he'll come around. Outside, maybe like seven times a year. Well, the fact that you're just so open to help him, maybe that's he sees that and understands. Yeah, I said, I'll dig this out. I'll we'll see. pop the fence and fucking dig this shit it's out. It's kind of late now, though, because you have to pay all this shit. No, right? now, now I'm just going to... But now, now he's legit, so we can... My backyard's going to be a fucking 450 track. Oh the, shit! Yeah, because that's like that's a big right thing there, out there. That's like there's there's motocross mo- motocross tracks all over the place out by where you no, live. I'm I'm not like too salty about it, but it just sucks that I have to deal with it now. Damn. But yeah, it's all gonna be legit now, and you won't be able to say shit. So. Well, 
bad things to happen. To you got away man. with that for how long? This is it's been there for six years. Yeah, at least. yeah. let's go around a minute. Yeah, but I mean, minute. it's it's not over. I told my son that we're gonna have to tear it down. He fucking started crying and stuff. I'm like, damn, this is like it's not just me. It's affecting you know. And for it's sure. Like all the other neighbors, the neighbor that watches, like, are you serious? Like, I took I take this personal. You know, like this is you're our entertainment for like us. So yeah, it's, it's a like, good yeah, positive I'm thing. Not, positive yeah, shit. I don't know. Speaking Whatever. speaking of your son, you got an amazing family. Thank it's you. it's fun to watch you guys on Instagram. Talk to me a little bit about Reed. What what's Reed? I thought I was hoping you were going to bring him down here. We yeah, need to get do an interview far. with him. He'll go crazy on the drive. No, Reed is uh, he's four years old now, and I don't know. He's just crazy. He's really tough and just. I don't know. Just wants to do crazy stuff. He just sends he loves, it though. Loves watching Jackass, and that's like pretty much his idols right there. What's so. his worst injuries thus far? Uh, knock on wood. Uh, actually, he's knocked a tooth out. Oh, he good. He good. But other than that, knock on wood, nothing too bad. I just hit up like uh, cause he's been riding moto a lot lately. <laughs> hit up Liat for the neck braces, and I'm like, yo, like send me a neck brace for my son, cause that's the last thing you need, you know. I just got to keep him safe. Your, your yard literally looks like a, uh, it's like a circus going on at all times. I just saw the video of Axel Hodges jumping the, the small bike. Is that what that was? The, yeah, the, it's a the 80, the 110s. 110s? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I was like working on the jumps one day and I just posted some dumb shit like, whoever wants to ride, come help. And he's like, I'll help. And I was like, no, I'm not necessarily talking about you. I'm talking about everyone that fucking comes over and rides. And now you don't want to come over because I need the help. But he was he's willing to come over and help. So I was like, yo, yeah, come over and chill, whatever. And then I was like, yo, bring your dirt bike. And he brought that. And then now we're probably going to end up a meeting at Monster tomorrow to see, talk about a video. Possibly. Another dream yard? So, uh, I don't know about, I mean, maybe another dream yard, but it's uh, like a collab maybe with Axel. Oh, hell so yeah. That'd be pretty sick, I think. That's fucking dope. That would be awesome. What, uh, where you're off on an airplane soon again, where are you headed? What's going on this year? What's your, uh, your look like? My next trip is South Africa. And I think you're going to that, right? Yeah, I'll be there for sure. Yeah, there's two contests out there, Night Harvest and Ultimate X. You like South Africa? Yeah, I love South Africa. What do you, what do you like about South Africa? Uh, everything. It's like just one of the craziest places I've been to. And what what makes know, it crazy? Just, I'm a little kid in Ohio. What, what makes South um, Africa crazy? You can go diving with sharks. There's penguins on the beach. There's... Uh, I don't know. Crazy people everywhere. Is it true or false? Do you you got bit by a penguin? Yeah, I tried to catch. <laughs> I tried to catch a penguin. How that how that worked <laughs> out for I you? I caught it, but it turned around and bit my hand pretty hard. Broke broke the skin. Not too bad. I was wearing gloves and it just got like the whole side of my hand. It was just like scratches. But did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I posted it and everyone called me an animal abuser. So I'm not. I learned my oh lesson. shit! Peta coming after you. Yeah, don't don't catch a penguin. I guess <laughs> they're coming after everybody. <laughs> don't catch penguins. <laughs> Is there a lot of good skate parks out there? Uh, there's a few. There's like some real good trails in Cape Town. I've only been to Cape Town and okay. Johannesburg, and that's like, I don't know. Cape Town's like kind of like how it is. I don't know, San Diego ish kind of you know, yeah. just like okay. cliffs everywhere, nice beach, super. I don't know, super warm all the time, and I don't know. It's like just a nice little place. It seems like. Is it hard for you to leave town when you have everything at your house? Uh, no, because. I mean, you don't want that. I don't want it to get old at my house as well. So it's nice to be going like do all the trips I go on. That's why when I do get home, I'm kind of kind of become a homebody and I have two kids. So I have to watch them all the time. But it's like, I don't know when I'm home, I'm pretty much home. And then when I'm I'm traveling a lot, though. So like, I don't know, I probably leave like twice a month at least. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah, you are all over the place. I, I try to go like almost everything. So, and the last year has been crazy for you because of USA Cycling, right? What? What? Let, well, let's talk Olympics a little bit because he's a perfect guy to talk to about this because he's right in the perfect. Mother, he's, he's number right one in the motherfucking mix. <laughs> number one. So how did uh, how did this all come about with uh, with USA Cycling? Because this is all new to BMX. A lot of guys don't even know how this works. Yeah. Uh, s- s- I mean, I don't even know if I'm on USA Cycling. Right well, now, I mean, like, but you, but you weren't you like you were repping them. They brought you, yeah. sent you to the training facility and stuff. Yeah, no, it's super cool. I mean, it's sick that like a whole country will be backing you. You know, like, right. for BMX is like wow. But uh, yeah, basically, it's since Fees got BMX into the Olympics, it's like uh, they came to the top 
five, I think, Americans, and then just ask them to be part of the team, and then just goes from there pretty much. It's all off points and whatever results. So, like, the more points you accumulate, the higher you yeah, score it's, it's at the events, then you get bumped off, up in. Strictly off points and results of fees. How was how was the difference? Because you were at all the major contests before all of this. What's been like the some of the big differences between the contest back in the day to the contest now that are Olympics or Olympic qualifiers? Uh, I mean, I'd say the contest now they're getting more legit. I guess it's like for politics, it can't be as like I don't know. You can't have just like a favorite that wins now or whatever. Yeah, like yeah. you really have to prove why. They're going to win. The judges have to, they yeah, have to go so through everything. They have yeah, to like, I, I didn't even know, but, like, for the fees contest and stuff, you can contest, like, why you got this score or whatever. I'm, I don't know. It's, like, pretty Have you crazy read the rule book? Have you read the whole no, rule book? You I'm, haven't I'm read pretty, the rule I'm book. You're, you're to, making finals, and you're not even reading the rule book. I'm just trying to ride my bike. <laughs> You He's gotta read, you gotta read that rule. But that's like a, buying a new ride. car. You know, like get date a girl, she you, gets a car. I'm like, I always tell them, always read the manual. Just at least flip through it. Yeah. You know, like yeah, so you're saying, like, because that's that shit that like. My wife's read it. <laughs> they actually lost yeah, a Daniel. So okay. You have to do this right now. <laughs> Triple whip. <laughs> What's uh? I know that like a big thing was the the whole drug <laughs> testing thing. Everybody, there's a lot of proponents to uh, to the Olympics. A lot of the old school dudes were like, oh, it's gonna make it. You know. More like normal sports. They're going to be coaches. Then the, the whole drug testing thing happened. Everybody's like, oh, this is not going to be good. How's that even the drug testing work with the Olympics? I mean, so far for America, there's not like any coaches or anything, I don't think. Not that I'm aware of. But uh, the drug testing, I mean, they're. I think they're mainly looking for like performance enhancing yeah, drugs, yeah. like steroids, whatever, like shit in the Olympics yeah. would use to win the Olympics or whatever, you know, like, but they're also for like weed and other party drugs. There's, I think there's a uh, 150 milliliters. Like, I don't know what the nanograms to yeah. milliliters. Yeah. UFC, or it's crazy. Like it's so, it's pretty small amount. It's insane. It's, yeah. It's like not even if you were to smoke one joint, like you'd be over the limit, but it's, it's, it's to like, the point where if you even touch something it, and you somehow get in your mouth, that they all can read it. It yeah, gets but, so crazy. But don't they, isn't it? I thought, with but basically, if it's an accident and you get caught for any drugs, it's a two-year ban. And then if you're doing it on purpose, which I'm guessing is more performance enhancing right. and all that, then it's a four-year ban. Holy shit. And you're not even going to... I don't even think you can ride like a fees come An accident. No. How do you accidentally take a drug? <laughs> well, you are UFC well, John Bones. It's crazy. As well, but yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. I also, I, well, I also heard that you, if you smoke weed... As long as you don't smoke weed like a week before the contest, and if you get co if you get tested, it, you'll still show marijuana in your system, but it doesn't show that you competed with it in your system, so you're chill. Uh, yeah. So you can basically it has to be like you have to stop like a few days at least before. Like I think uh, I think Varga's been doing testing and stuff with it, and he's down. He got after like twelve days, he got down to like twenty four nanograms. <laughs> So, but it's still like that's fine but i'm just saying it's like wow that's pretty crazy it stays in your system that long i don't think we should be illegal for well, it's not I mean, a performing it's, enhancing no, it's, like a, it's, it's like a it's like a cigarette i was yeah, I really i'd say it was a, it's just like a cigarette it's, you know it's like yeah if any dude if you got everyone high they would not even be able to ride you yeah. know what i mean like if you're not used to it like i've had like several times i've got like some of my friends high and i'm like dude they can't fucking move yep you know what i mean like it's like Shit, this is pretty gnarly, but I don't know. I don't really see how it's performance enhancing. If you want to say it is, I guess, but whatever. It makes me rap better. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it helps you recover a little bit better. It makes your muscles makes not you hurt. Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. I don't I, know. Like it's all. It all comes down to your mental state at that point. Yeah. But they'll come know. around, especially with the whole CBD thing. Yeah, um, CBD work too, or no? Nick Bruce on Weed Maps. I don't know, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nick Bruce. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. What do you think about that? That's a, a funny thing. CBD uh, Maps. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. It's interesting. But I mean, I he's, cool. he's the CBD. I mean, he's my good friend. He, it's a CBD thing, but I was just like, yeah. whoa. Like, yeah, yeah, he's never smoked weed in his life. I was not expecting that. But, but the CBD shit sick. works. Have you ever tried? I'm sure you've tried CBD. Yeah, CBD works pretty good, I think. I mean, it's, I don't know. Like a painkiller, I guess. I don't really know what. It's like anti-inflammatory. It's decent. <laughs> What's the? Uh, it's the, natural. Have you ever been to a country that you'd never want to go back to? 
Um, then the, I, don't, I don't know why. But I, I don't know. There's like, I've been to Trinidad and Tobago probably three times. And the last time I went, I was, I got like third in a contest and I didn't get the money ever. <laughs> Wait a minute. It was like five grand and I was like, what? You but, didn't get the money. Yeah, I didn't get paid. And then. How did you not get paid? I just, the contest happened and then never saw any money. <laughs> you were in Trinidad and Tobago when this happened? Yeah. Do you like how I'm pretending like I don't know what happened yeah, and, I, really and I wasn't there? Yeah, there was. You did get paid. Yeah, I, yeah, I, you know. That's bullshit. You got to secure the That's bag. It. You got to secure yeah. the bag. Talk yeah, a little bit about that because you had done it. I, I, we could probably put them on blast now because it's been five years and nobody's got paid. Um, yeah, I feel we don't really have to say it. We don't have to say his name. Because I went there like years before to help out as well. You did like and school did, shows, like, right? I did school shows. It was the only, I never did school shows before. Those are the only school shows I've done. And, Went out to help him out, and he gave us cash all the time. And I was like, cool, he's good for it. I've been there two times, and he's giving me cash. And then he's like, hey, this next year I'm doing a contest. Had a full contest, and it was like 80 grand for the whole prize purse. Like third place, five grand. Uh, like it was really good money. Right. And I was like, all right, sick. And I ended up getting third place, and then just never saw it. Never saw it. it. That was really like a whirlwind super and then scam I've, I've that and this guy up did. About it, but. Terry Adams. Terry Adams calls him once a week. Still? Dude, we gotta get wow. Terry on here. He's got uh, some please. stories. But yeah, so he, uh, the the dude, and he flew he flew tons of us over. He flew like thirty or forty riders over, promising somebody's gonna win ten thousand. And what was the first prize? It was like yeah, like, fifteen Gs yeah, or something. What do you think much. happened? It was like ten, eight, five. A I lot think. of people think he lot. just Talked took the it. money and and dipped. I mean, I don't know how. You, I don't know. Or he blew all his budget. I don't, I don't know that he would do that, though. I think it was, uh, he said the government never came up, like, promised him it and then never gave it to him or whatever. Like, he had the whole thing running through the government. But the only reason I don't think that he would have just took the money and split is because he was, like, fully about for BMX, like, the whole time. And, like, he'd, like, get emotional and, like, start crying about it. And well, stuff. That's and good acting, like, yeah, though. That's, that's good. good. I know, good but it was, like... I mean, fuck, he fooled me. Yeah. He fooled us all. I could all. cry too for 80 grand. It was, that's why it was the most <laughs> elaborate scam because he flew us all. Like, he flew me in like three days early, and my ex girlfriend was with us. And some dude picked me up the next day at the, at the hotel, and I went downtown. And um, they took me into like government buildings, and this guy that was working for Homie would bring me into like a government office where like the clerk of courts or whatever. And he would, I would walk into the office and he'd go, guys, this is Catfish. He is our announcer. Um, for, he is from America. And everybody would take a picture with me. And like motherfuckers are just like, on, they don't yeah. give a fuck about me. And they would yeah, have to get up and take a picture. And we went through like all these buildings for like two days. I'm like, this is going to be the biggest thing ever. Like this contest is going to be massive. And the contest have, remember the ramp, they were still building the ramps when the contest started. And then kids started going through that, that, uh, box box or lip lip box, they like couldn't clear it, and they were just like going through it on top of it. Oh, what this a, was a government a sponsored event. That's what he said. Yeah, I, I so mean, why wasn't I there a uh, something the government saying, "Hey, this is what happened." That's why I think it's. I don't even know anything about yeah. it, but yeah, that see, sounds like bullshit. There has to be an explanation. I, about listen, this I shit. can tell. We, that's why Terry would be good to, to get on this because Terry is on this motherfucker. He's been on him forever. He just like plays the messages that like he records himself. <laughs> Then the message that he leaves for for homie, he's if if there was a way to get it, Terry would have found it by now. He's probably talking to homie's nieces and nephews. He's, he's gonna get, <laughs> Terry will get that money. I know he's might be watching. He's this. out in Bali. We're good that we haven't said his name. Living though, on the so. beach, chilling, drinking margaritas, off Pat's money, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you whatever, uh, fucking enjoy it. Uh, right you before, it me, right I before guess. we went on, uh, we went on you. Because I was asking, I was like, I'm going to ask you to tell some funny stories with traveling. you got some really good ones. And one you said right before we started, <laughs> the France story. <laughs> Can you please tell these wonderful viewers the France story? There's a lot of France stories. <laughs> there but are. The, this last time I went was, uh, I mean, it was this last year. And uh, it was like Sunday night or something. We just left. We left the party. I left the party early because I was like, I need to get some food. I'm starving. I didn't even eat anything at, like after the contest. And I, I was like, damn, I really need some food. Walked around for like two hours looking for food. Couldn't find anything. And then like it was like a light bulb popped up in my head. Like, boom. I was like, I have an idea. Like, I fucking know where to get food right now. 
Because there's at Fees, there's like a bunch of food uh, vendors like all around the entire area. And uh, it was me and Andrew and I, and I was like, dude, I know where to get food. There's all these frozen like refrigerator trucks. And I was like, all right. So we waited and we opened this gate and there was a truck right there. And I was like, all right, sick. Wasn't even locked. We opened it and it was like, oh, like, like we just found fucking gold, like completely full of food. <laughs> Like stocked up with like cookies, like, like <laughs> everything, cookies, everything, you, everything you want to find is three everything. or four in the morning. Yeah, and we were just like, no fucking way. Like, all right, and I hopped in. And I was like, all right, grabbed all of it, like not all of it, but grabbed like enough for us, and then hopped out. And I was like, all right, and then Andrew hops out and just drops everything everywhere. He's like, hold on, and hops back in, and then the security guard comes running at us, and I was like, yo, yo, and I was like, fuck this, I'm out of here. And I took off running, and uh, so I thought Andrew was behind me because I heard footsteps like, like running behind me. And I turn around, and it's a security guard running after me. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like this with food, like running. And I'm like, fuck! I just dropped some shit, like just like a trail of shit. And I just, I just turned it on, just outran this fool, like fucking gone. I'm like, I'm not getting caught. I'm going to, I'm not going to jail in France right now. And then. I waited a little while, and next thing I know, I see Andrew come walking back, and he was like, I was like, what? Like, how did you get let go? Like, how, how did you get let go? And he's like, yeah, I just talked my way out of it, because he knows how to speak French really well. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, dude, it, I'm so lucky that you got caught and not me, because I would have just been like, I have no idea what to say <laughs> right now. I was hungry. <laughs> did the contest find out about this? No, but that's no. why I was glad, like. Yeah. They'd be cool shout with out it. Shout out to They would be cool with it. Did you, get, did you get any food at the end? Uh, we got like fucking a big pack of hot dogs and like, some <laughs> other shit and we went back and cooked it all up. Like we got some food out of it, fed everyone that was with us. So it was sick. Like everyone came back from the party, the bunch of cooked hot dogs. The parties at the parties at Fees are next level. Yeah. The parties at Fees are insane. This year is the 20th year. 21st I think year. they, I feel like they would have to chill out a little bit on it because they're destroying the whole city. Like, yeah, they've had they party all night. Dude, dude, they fucking make riots. From feast, like pull down the street lights and slam them to ATMs. And flip shit. cars. Damn, I have they to go flip to this cars. Place. Last time we walk out of the bar and there's three cars lit on fire, like what fully just burning. Fuck? And I'm just like, whoa, this is like, how's it legal out there? This is insane. Like this looks like I'm fucking. I just woke up in hell or something. Like holy shit. They love you out there. Oh hell yeah. yes. Uh, they, can you walk around? They, they, it's like bah, bah. They, they love him. I mean, well. Him. We're in like a, it's a full BMX contest. Like there's a bunch of other riders. So I don't know. If, I don't necessarily think the people in France love me or love us, but mm, riders. I, well, that that contest is wild because like sometimes that's the only BMX contest people in France go to a year. Even people that aren't really like into BMX, but everybody goes to the feast. So like somebody like Pat, when you came there, what what year did you first go there? 2012. Yeah, maybe 12. I think 12. 2012, and then like. The new American guy. The first year I went was like one of my craziest experiences. Like I was like 17 and we could get into all the parties and I was like, oh, I'm 17. Like my first time getting drunk was 16, like in Greenville. And then I go to these parties and get like wasted. And then I went to a, like I walked with the whole monster team to a bar and I was like so drunk and like some car pulled down all fast and I, I flipped them off. Well, these fools hopped out ready to beat my ass. That's what they do. With it. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, I'm so wasted. I can barely stand up. And like someone grabbed me and just started running. And like Ben Wallace and uh, uh, the team manager at the time got beat up. Like Ben like broke his hand and everything. Holy shit. Yeah. And then luckily I won the contest the next day. So it, like they're like, dude, that's like the only thing you could have done to make me forgive you right now. <laughs> like the team manager. Yeah. Ben was still probably pissed at me, but. Sorry, but, uh, Ben. <laughs> you were on Monster at the time, too? Yeah. When did you get on Monster? That was, that was like my first trip like overseas as well with Monster. Damn, you were on Monster at uh, like 15, Was 16? that when you did the Flare oh, Double Whip? I was on Monster at 16. Was that the Flare Double Whip? No, I think that was a Decade Flip. Decade Flip, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was wild. Looking back on your career, what are some contests that you look back on and think, fuck, this, that was awesome? Like this... That you were you were psyched on either personally with your riding or just the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't really know. <laughs> There's like, like so many and I forget. Because that's why it's I a while for me, like so as an many. announcer to have like watched you grow up because to me, you were this. There's like little... highlights from all of them, but I don't know about like one specific one that I'm like, dude, this is the best contest ever, you know? So I don't know. There's like really good things about a lot of them that I've liked, but I don't know. I always try to look at the, the good in every, all of it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm going to a new place and I've never been, I'm traveling the world. So that's why it's like, I'm trying to just take the experience in for what it is. Not necessarily like I'm trying to do good at the contest. Obviously I have a family to support as well, but I'm trying to, for as an experience of traveling and stuff, I'm trying to be more open-minded about that instead of like so serious about a contest. I don't even enjoy my time, you know? Yeah. So that's why I feel like, I don't know. I just been doing it instead of, like, oh, I need to win or whatever. Oh, there are a lot of riders like that in the contest scene. Like, I need to win. There's so many riders that you'll go to a place and they won't even fucking leave the hotel or the hotel room or whatever because they're like, I need to get the contest. And they stress about it so hard that, and then they don't do good. And we were out wasted like the entire night before and you're, you do better than them or whatever, you know? It's like, it's because you're enjoying your life, you know? And yeah. Not, I don't know. There's several ways to look at it. Kind of making it more jockeyer than just yeah. having fun with the yeah, sport. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just just trying to ride as long as I can. That's what's dope. That's why you're one of my favorites, man. Because I just every contest I've been to, you guys are just hanging out, having fun. You and TJ, everyone just <laughs> hanging out, dude, just having the best time, and you guys fucking kill it. That yeah, must be thanks. like the coolest feeling, just going to X Games and or any contest, be like. I could actually win this fucking contest, and I've never ever felt that way. So yeah, and I think that's like, I mean, almost why I don't do good, because like I put that pressure on myself when other contests I don't give a fuck, and I'll just like go ride, and then I'm like, oh, I did that good, sick, you know. But like, if you put that pressure on yourself, I feel like then that's when it's like, for me at least, I don't really what perform as well. What was it like, uh, your first X Games experience? Because you were this California kid. We all knew that you would make it to that level at some point. How old were you when you, you were uh, that was 17, 17, I think? 17, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that, that one was good. I Like a week before, I think, or two weeks before, I separated my shoulder like really bad, and I could barely even like lift my arm, and I had to ride in it, and I, I did okay, but I don't know. It was just being in X Games, I was like, holy shit, this yeah. is insane. Like, you get the goodie bags and everything you get just for – being there is right. like wow this is crazy it had to be awesome for your family yeah especially that when it was that was when it was in la as yeah well so the the next year is i got third the next year and that was like insane to me what was that like uh i'm i mean it was like i don't know almost a dream come true i didn't win but i was like Holy did you get invited shit. to like dope ass parties afterwards uh, I mean, just being at X Games, you get invited to all the parties. Yeah, Monster much. has some good ass parties. Yeah, yeah they, they, they all go, have they go like hard. crazy parties, all of them. What's the first place prize package for X Games? I don't know. Fifty grand? No. no. Like twenty five, maybe. Oh, twenty five. Yeah. See, I thought it was like fifty grand. Back in the day, it used to be it used yeah. to be big money. Back in the day, same thing with Dew Tour. Rest in peace, Dew Tour. Yeah, that's those were some fun was So sick. They were fun, right? I was I'm grateful to be able to. Have rode those. Yeah, they they did a really good job. Do you like uh, the format these days? Contest format. Uh, what is the format? <laughs> well, like it always changes. Well, most of the ones now, the the Olympic ones are uh, two runs, both both runs count. Going in, semis, finals, it's two runs, best run counts. I mean, I think that's pretty good. I think you need to do the at least two runs, one count for a final because you have to have some, somebody has to be able to risk it a little bit. Like you want to see a gnarly run. I mean, I do enjoy a consistency like for the, the qualifying right. at least, but sometimes that also fucks me over. Cause if I just barely fall on something, they won't even put like, I always fall on like a wall ride 180 or some shit. The oh. end of a run always at the, the that's, last and that's trick, the worst because when that happens trick i do i fall and then i won't make it in for some reason or i'll get like way low but make it in i'm like dude what the fuck like why why and it's because oh you fell at the very end of the run and i'm like fuck like they're pretty they're really strict on judging yeah and that's, that's the, why i liked like the old fees and how it used to be just because it just... was like yeah but i mean then you do have people that just hog the fucking course and then for it's sure like, yeah 
and the, moving forward, you kind of have to have some sort of structure yeah. that people can understand. But, but it was sick. It was just like a big show. Just like keep going. Like, yeah, that's. I think that's why the fe feast is probably one of the best contests because they. I mean, yeah. they still do that now, but the which even which is best trick at the yeah. end of runs. I think that's so so fucking awesome. Yeah, it's sick. It was jam format. No, but they just uh, at the feast they'll, they'll give you like last you get two runs and then at the uh, on your third run it, you can try your last trick and you oh, get like shit, two okay. or three tries. Oh, that's dope. And sometimes they used to like let you try it as many times as you could, but now there's so many people that you get like three or four tries. But it always works out in the end because so yeah, many dudes pull stuff. I do have a feast. <laughs> feast is tight. Feast is tight. Oh, are you gonna you hit up all the feast stops this year? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to stay on Team USA as long as I can. Who, who's, who's the top five right now? I'm not even sure. Not me. Does it reset every year? Did it at the end of the year? Yeah, basically it's straight off points. So I didn't, I didn't go to China, and then that was I think that kind of fucked me over for this year. But we, they haven't started like fees at all yet. So I think they're going off like the very beginning. Where's the again. first one at? I think Japan. Japan. Hiroshima. You're yeah, announcing all of them? Yeah, yeah, we do. We can do some, we'll do some TCU stuff. We can get oh, yeah. Pat on board. He can be our roving reporter. <laughs> He's just <laughs> midline doing tricks, winning. <laughs> fucking run it. Is there any place in the world you want to go that you've never been? Um, I don't know. Yeah, there are, but I can't really think of it right now exactly. I want to go to New Zealand. I've wanted to go ride those trails, like those. Gorge Road. Yeah, I don't know if they're there anymore. But oh, they're there. Like, those ones that look like goddamn fucking art. Yeah, shout yeah, out to those like dudes. Oh, dude. Jumps, like so many. Those look so sick. That looks like a fun trip. You prefer skate park or trails? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can really ask that question. Like for well, in your well, in your question, backyard, you have both right. a skate yeah, park so and trails. But I ride skate parks more, like ramps more. But I love dirt. It's like, I don't know, I have so much fun on dirt every yeah, I don't time think I, I don't think it, a lot so. of people look at you as like a dirt guy. They would think of you as a dirt guy. Do you ever ride street? Uh, a little bit. I got a ledge out, out front. Yeah, because in the Yawn <laughs> video, a little bit. Yeah. You're, you had the part in Yawn. You had a yeah. bunch of like, you were just doing crazy ass tricks in the street. Yeah, yeah. Like with uh, like Vish did the Yawn video and that, and we went like on a bunch of, like I just went with the whole crew, just on a bunch of trips, like, everywhere, so it was sick. Who do you I'm look up back, the, uh, back up to back in that time? Who do you look up to during that time? Uh, during that time, I, I really looked up to Drew Bazanson, looked up to Dennis, Mark Webb, uh, Mira. Yeah. There's just, I don't know, there's a lot of people I looked up to. I never really, like, pinpointed one person to look up to. So just, like, still just, a lot yeah, of park I, riders I, like that? I mean, I even, yeah, I have, like... A lot of influences, I guess, like yeah. that I looked up to, but never like idolized one person really. What was it like going from idolizing Dave Mira to competing against Dave Mira? That was insane. That was like no fucking way. This is Dave Mira. Like I'm riding against. How right old now. were you the first time you competed uh, against him? That was I was 16 in Chicago for Detour, and I think I got, I think I got like eighth, and he got tenth. And I was like, holy shit. Whoa. I just beat Dave Mira. <laughs> holy no shit. fucking way. But, I mean, I don't know. And then, like, after that, like, I got to go ride his warehouse and everything. And that was insane. That was like, no way is this even happening. So, RIP Dave Mira. <laughs> right. You were there, there. Yeah, you were there for the King of the, King no, of the yeah, Animals. I didn't go to any of that. I was, like, right after that. The year after that. Got any good Dave Mira stories for us? No, not not really. Like I just, I've only really ridden with him, and then that was it. Like I never really got to hang out with him too much. Who's your favorite rider? Right now, uh, like I, I don't know. I don't really have like a favorite rider. Ke Kevin's like an amazing rider. I like love the way Kevin rides. Uh, Kevin Peraza. Yeah, Kevin Peraza. Um, I don't know. There's so many riders like Garrett Dennis. Who do you think is one of them? Who's, who's underrated? Do you think? Oh, actually, Boyd. Boyd is oh, my Boyd favorite. Boyd yeah. Boyd's my favorite. Rider. Shout out to Boyd. Yeah. Yeah. There right you now. go. He all is right. probably the best rider out there. Yeah. One of them. All Him, around, Dennis, Garrett. For, yeah. Best fucking bike rider. Like he has all the tricks. His style. He, yeah. smi he smiles. Yeah, he's sick, dude. <laughs> Smiling is important. Sick cunt. Yeah, mad rider. Yeah, mad rider. <laughs> you like Australia? 
Yeah, I love Australia. Yeah, you've been there a bunch, huh? Yeah, I've been there like six times. What do you like about Australia? I don't like Australia. Mm. <laughs> I like that it's sunny how it is here <laughs> for the most part. It's, sun- <laughs> it's sunny. It's expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive. Uh, that's all the stuff I don't like about. Not stuff I don't like, but expensive. I don't know. I like they Australia. Got, they got good skate parks. It's like England, but sunny. Yeah. I don't Very know what much. the hell you guys are even talking about. We, I've only been to Mexico and Canada. We got, we got, we got to get you, we got to get you know, a, a passport. But I'm so comfortable here in California. It's like, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I can California see why you guys travel and shit. Motherfuckers winning contests. You're announcing it. I'm just, I'm chilling at the beach in Venice, hanging out, Long Beach, all that, <laughs> hanging out. I don't need much. Are you, are you from Riverside? No, I'm from Yorba Linda. Damn, so. so Orange County. The ramps and all that, having all that stuff made you want to move out to Riverside? Yeah, basically... Having land, like being able to have land, I moved out to Riverside and I, I bought my house like looking more at the backyard than the house, kind of. <laughs> How old were you when you bought a house? I was 18. Holy that's awesome. shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations, man. That's yeah, fucking thanks. dope. How, how'd you get into BMX? Uh, I don't know. I started racing like when I was like five and then I always had just like a quarter pipe out front of like the house and like, how big? It and like a little I had, one. like a four foot quarter. Oh, hell yeah. And I, I rode that until like I got real got really good on that. And then my dad was like, I was probably twelve, and my dad built me a mini ramp in the backyard. And like I rode that and learned pretty much everything on that. And then I rode I rode Snowden's a little bit like th- through all that because yeah. that was like like the only place that had like a box jump in California. Did you have a crew growing up? Uh, yeah, I kind of had a crew. Like it was like my buddy Killian and Ricky and. Uh, it's like they all work at like Odyssey now. Oh really? It's pretty cool. Yeah, like Killian, Ricky, and then just I don't know, quite a few other kids that. Who's your crew? Who's your crew now? I don't know. It changes a lot, but uh, Larry Edgar comes over quite a bit. Shane Davis, he's like one of my buddies. Jacob Bailey, and then Shout that's Jacob. that's really it. Like, yeah, Jacob's up north having a kid right now. <laughs> really? I think babies making ba- <laughs> I think. babies making babies. Did you ever, ever when the wife goes out of town, did you ever just throw a rager at your house sometimes? (laughs) No. Last one we did was like a Halloween party, I think. Uh, Adam and Chris Long came and they. Oh, tell that story. (laughs) Yeah, you can tell that story. (laughs) Yeah, Adam and Chris Long came and they, uh, like, some of Chase's friends, I don't know, someone got pushed in a fire pit and then next thing I know. (laughs) Wait, well, a girl got pushed in the fire Chris pit. Long, Not a girl, probably. like uh, some dude got I'm pushed sure, in the I'm fire sure pit. Chris Long did the was, pushing. <laughs> <laughs> and then next thing I know, I'm like out front, and I was drunk as well, but I see them like just knocks two fools out, and like Chris and Chris is just like, I'm sorry, bro, I'm sorry, and like running away. He's like, dude, I'm so sorry, but he has like brass knuckles on him. Like, <laughs> oh, bro. shit. Like, damn, like. They're not my friends. It's all good. Yeah. Like, That's why we don't fight street friends. riders right. in here. We don't good allow God. street riders. Yeah, don't fuck with BMXers. Yeah, yeah. Good God. When was the last people. time you've been in a fight? Uh, I don't think I've even... Well, actually, I haven't been in, like, a real fight, I would say. Like, fist fight, but... Uh, at Fees's, like... <laughs> I, I, knew <laughs> was gonna be, somebody. I knew it was going to be at Fees. No, at Fees's, like, for some reason... I love Alex Colborn, but he always gets super drunk and has to just flex on me. Like, why is that? No idea. Is like, he competitive no against you? Clue. I, no, I he just <laughs> yeah. after, after, after a couple, couple drinks he does it. my neck and stuff, and I'm not cool with that. Yeah. So nobody is. I don't I think. Fucking had to choke him out two times. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> two times. <laughs> two times. I would hate to fight you because I see the way you fucking fall, man. You take it like a boss. How many times you been knocked out? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. No, probably like. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like four or five times. That's not that bad. Like full asleep. What's the, your worst injury? Um, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I dislocated my shoulder last year. And then probably this, the, what is it? The separated shoulder. Cause you can't really fix it unless you get surgery. I haven't fixed it. And it's just. I don't know. Does it bother you? No, it doesn't bother me. But at first, like for the first year, it was like, like my arm was weak, like super weak. How would you strengthen it? Just work it out? Yeah, you have to like strengthen all the muscles around it pretty much. But it's like there's an AC joint and I I don't think I even have it anymore. It's like my shoulder's super low right here. And it keeps popping out sometimes? 
No, it doesn't ever pop out. It just is like hanging. Yeah, I had a buddy that had that happened, but it kept on popping out, so you had to get surgery, and it kind of fucked. This him one is the only one I've popped out, and I've only popped out one time, but like. I'll be swimming or something, and I'll just feel like a thunk, or like all 180 something and land flat, and I'll feel like a, you know, and it's God, like fuck, yeah. but it's fine. Whenever I see your Insta stories and I hear the music playing in your backyard, you always got some good tunes going on. What what kind of music you listen to these days? Like Baby Shark. Baby uh, Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wasn't MGK you know at your house? They didn't they film a music video or some shit over there? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's like MGK really? or MGK's so, been there. Yeah, I, and I rode and they filmed a little bit, but I don't know if it ever. I don't know if it was in a music video. Yeah, I think it was like in a MGK vlog or something. But I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, was like uh, so the guy who filmed the first two Dream Yards, Casey McPerry, he was one of my good friends. He's awesome. Shout out to Casey. And, and then uh, he went on tour with MGK and was like his personal filmer, like for I don't know, like two years, I think. And then when I came to Riverside, he brought him to my house, we hung out, and then went to like their show after. It was sick. Damn, that sounds dope. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Come up. He, he literally came up. Plus, his Instagram is rad because it's one of those ones where like. Oh yeah. It's yeah. always he like, like full perfect. Thing. Yeah, I, think yeah. He's, I don't know how you do he's that. He's pretty cr- like. He was working for Red Bull and all that, and then like they limited him to only doing certain projects, and mm-hmm. he's like, "No, I'm not doing that." And then basically made his own company and then now he can work for anyone kind of thing like his own producing company i think i don't know exactly what it is i'm kind of ignorant to what he does but <laughs> hey i'm not sure you're in your lane that's dope though you yeah. guys gonna do a dream ride three we already did do a dream or three. four uh i don't know like i said me and you I'm gotta wait axel like tomorrow at monster to see about that video but other than that probably just I don't know. We were going to do like another video for just me as yeah. well, but I don't know what it's going to be. That'd be fucking sick. Axel, Axel rides BMX too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah he's sick. I, fuck, man. I can't wait to see the guy that what you guys do because you guys are savages. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, especially with that backyard. Um, wait, I had a good question that I was going to ask you. Oh, what, do you, what else do you have planned for the rest of the year? Do you have any other, other than the contest? Um... Other than contests, I don't really know. We're just traveling to a bunch of different contests, and I don't know. That's about X it. X Games. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the same shit as last year, but this How year. does X Games work now with, like, the invites? It's like... uh, I don't know. I think it's, like, a full voting process, like, online and stuff. Like, you vote. Like, you, they send, like, a ballot to, like, a ton of riders, and then... Oh, like, and they decide oh, that way. Yeah. That's crazy. That's how it was before. And then they have the open qualifiers. Which are yeah, like they had it was like Boise, Idaho oh, yeah, last year no, or something. So that's what it is. Like they have like that full voting system to get whoever into the qualifiers, and you, then you have to qualify to even get into X Games, like the road to X Games. Oh, who runs X Games? BMX stuff. Uh, HSA Hoffman, Hoffman Sports Association. Okay, and you're not are you cool with them? I don't know if I'm real cool with them, but. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say cool with them. I'll probably never work for them again. Damn. I, I thought do you like have to win contests. You have to win simple session fees or do really good in those contests and you get an invite. Yeah, so like last year I think they only took like the top three that won X Games the year before. And then like two random like wild cards or something that made it in. Yeah. And then it was like for park at least a full qualifier. And then for dirt it's just they there's not really like enough dirt riders, I guess. I don't know. That's what they think. So they just invite a bunch of people to ride the contest. And then it's the triple crowns or the 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 one the monster supercross tour? supercross also works too, right? The oh, Toyota yeah, Challenge. I think that's oh yeah, kind of going basing off like as a a qualifier for the X Games dirt. I think. Okay, makes sense. It's interesting. Yeah. It's just weird. I think. Well, it's not weird because X Games is ultimately just a TV show, you know. So that's yeah. why it sucks that they have to like condense it and they have to, you know, it'd be dope if they had the time and the money to have a hundred riders, yeah. you know, and narrow and like have a real contest and narrow it down like that. But what do they have? Is it twenty? Twenty riders? Yeah, I think I think twenty, and then it gets down to like twelve. Twenty, yeah, twenty. No, to, like gets down to like six. Or nine in the finals, like not much. How come I feel like skateboarders have like forty 
people that get a tryout at X Games that get invited and then it goes to that. I feel like there's way more skaters that get yeah, invited it's just, and shit. It's just like uh, apples and oranges, though, because yeah. like the people that are running BMX have nothing to do with the people that are running skate. It's oh. the same reason why skaters are allowed to not wear helmets and BMX riders have to wear helmets. Oh, yeah. Why is that insurance? No, I just that's what the the governing body says you have to do this in, the, in their rules. Fucking crazy. It's politics. You like helmets? Are you a fan of helmets? Me? Yeah. 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 yeah I, I always wear a helmet just because I hit my head enough. Yeah. I'm already dumb enough as is. I don't need to. You ever ride without a helmet when you're just rolling no, around? Not really. Well, I mean, rolling around like on the driveway or something, but no, not too much. Would you ever I, wear I, like, My son, well, Reed always has to wear a helmet because he's always. He needs a helmet when he's just off. walking around the house. Yeah, so I have to wear a helmet to, or he'll double standard me you're not wearing one so I'm like, all right i'll wear one all the time then <laughs> how soon do you think until you think he's gonna be upside down i don't know he's uh riding wise he can ride like the entire ramp and everything it's pretty crazy but and then even on like a dirt bike he can i don't know it's insane like watching him and like damn it's kind of scary but Flipping, I mean, I don't know. He's only four, so. I wonder what the world yeah. record is for the youngest backflip. Maybe by like six or something. <laughs> he sets the world record. I wonder what, what, when the next game's I wonder at ten. What the, what the, someone in the comments tell us what the world record is for the. Uh, I've been showing him. There's this little Japanese kid. I think he's like eight years old yep. or something. Mm -hmm. And he's like on the same size bike as him. Mm -hmm. And I've been showing him like, look, dude, you got to catch up. <laughs> 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 like, look at this, this kid. And he's like, he's tripping out. He's like, what? How can he do that? You got to get him so, a flat land Those bike. Japanese kids are on no little rim. Oh, yeah, he's Rim's something else. He's fun to watch. I really like watching yeah, Rim. Rim's amazing. Who do you like watching? Guy, what what riders, riders that you compete against do you like to watch ride? Oh, uh, like Dennis. I like watching Jack Clark. Clark's good, yeah. I like watching... When Boyd goes, I love watching Boyd because it's, like, so different. Kevin is really good. Dennis, I don't know. That's that's about it. <laughs> what, was it what was it like watching? <laughs> what was it like? Because you and Dennis are obviously good friends, but Dennis just shows up at Edmonton at the Feast. And I always talk to Dennis about this. I'm like, dude, you just have a fucking – it's just a walk in the park for you all the fucking time. And you just, oh, get second place. Like, whatever. No big deal. But – I don't know, that's just Dennis. He kills it, so that's what it is for him. But it looks just too easy. I just loved how, like, you know, like you were saying earlier, some dudes, they, they can't handle the, the pressure, especially when it's time, go time at a contest. And Dennis just came strolling in, like, I don't give a fuck what goes on. I'm just going to do this, do this. I'm chilling. Boom. No, second yeah, place. For me, at least, like, that's kind of what it comes down to is the mindset of what you have before going into it. Like, if I'm chilling, relaxing, enjoying my life, I'm going to do way better than me stressing about it, you know, at all. So that's just what I've been trying to do, at least lately. Do you to enjoy it? When you uh, do you prepare for a big contest, do you like do you eat well and do you work out? And Yeah, no, I don't at all. I just try to ride like as much as I can at home or wherever I am. And then that's good enough. You don't eat healthy. I've been trying to a little bit lately, but it's kind of hard to with kids. They just like this morning, Reed woke up and wanted a fucking ice cream sandwich right away. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> we can't do that right now. <clears throat> like, I'll make you some eggs or something. That's better. So did you get the ice cream uh, sandwich eventually? No, no, not this morning. You're going to come home to an empty box of ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll like freak out about it, too. So that's why I'm like, no, you can't not right now. They love eating worms, huh? The chicken worms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's dried some dried chicken worms like we feed uh we feed to the chickens and then they'll just munch on them and they don't care. <laughs> it's like they taste like Do you uh, ever eat I was about to ask you, yeah, you I've like, eaten them. If you if you guys come over you're gonna eat some too. What but do they taste <laughs> like? They're like uh Lay's potato chips. <laughs> like just they're like just worms. eating like, that no, shit. Yeah, my daughter will just take them by the handful. <laughs> she doesn't even care. <laughs> Dude, it's like, not good. good. It cannot be good. Actually, Sucks. I had to kill a chicken the other day. I fucking hated it. What? I don't, I don't like killing shit, obviously. Was he talking shit to you? Yeah, this motherfucker was. <laughs> no. <laughs> you killed a chicken. No. Dude, yeah, we're I really was... going to get PETA after us now. Yeah. This, so you should have given your neighbor the chicken. <clears throat> the neighbor that wants yeah, to take you on the ramps. She just put it in there. No, this chicken was like pretty much. <laughs> the chicken was dying anyway. Oh, so like, I felt bad. And like this thing's like basically they could get like a disease 
it's called Newcastle disease. I yeah. don't know if that's what it had, but it had all the symptoms of it and like was just dying a slow death. And I didn't really know what to do. So like my wife wanted to kill it, not wanted to kill it, but she's like, oh, if you're misery. not going to do it, I can, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. All right. I got to kill it. She wasn't home yet. And I was like, <laughs> told the kids to go away. And I just fucking, the thing was just laying there like dead anyway. So I just packed its head with a shovel. God like damn. Like a dirt jump and fucking brain splattered everywhere. Oh Jesus. my God. He put it out of so its bad. misery. Let, he put but it no, out of I its misery. so yeah. bad though having to do that. Like, that's not what I do. Yeah. How many chickens you got? There's like 14 now. No, 13. No, it was 14. Oh, there's 14 now. now. There was 15. Did the chicken have a name? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it might have been one of the chicks that we raised. Might have been Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Big brains. <laughs> Big brains. No, it sucked. You have them for not, food? I'm not proud of that. What? You have them for food? Like we eat the eggs, and then the kids like them. We just let them out, and they just roam the yard, whatever. They bite? No, they eat the worms. Like if you have the worms in your hand, you'll feel it. But how know. many? How many eggs you get? What's what's your there's yield? Like, there's like seven eggs a day. A day? A day? Yeah. I mean, it depends, but there's like just quite a few eggs. Yeah, that's tight. You have goats too, right? I did. I left on a trip and my wife got rid of them. So. Really? How come? Because <laughs> they shit everywhere and you can't, it's uncontrollable. And yeah, like, they're, they're my little daughter pebbles. Was like, yeah, I was just everywhere. My daughter was learning how to walk and she'd just pick them up and eat them. And, stuff, <laughs> and it was like, she's, she's like, just eating right, worms and poop. poop. But we gave them to this lady that was like uh, my wife's grandma's friend. And she loved them so much, and she just they live inside now, pretty much, and everything. I don't know how she cleans all this God. shit up, but they're just they're, they're just living the life. <laughs> did, what, did they have names? Yeah, it was Pee Wee and Dirty Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what possessed you to get goats? I don't know. The He's kids, on a farm out there. Do you, you have to feed them? You have to feed them? Yeah. Do you got to feed them? Yeah, we had to bottle feed them, like for because they were babies. We had to bottle feed them for a little while, and then just. After that, you just leave like a bunch of goat food out. Just, like, <laughs> what is it? It's like it's actual just, like, goat grains food? and stuff, you know, like grains mixed with like seeds and like they needed some uh, like sand or something in their food. It was weird, like some minerals. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. What weird. what two baby goats run you? Uh, I don't know. I think it was like a hundred bucks for both of them. <laughs> I don't even know if people that's a, is, 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 is that a good deal. Side, is that a good deal? It sounds like it's a good yeah, deal. Yeah, that's a good deal. It was really cheap. Like I was really surprised, but I don't know. It was fun. It's the most. You, what's the most you ever won at a contest? Ooh, um, good question. I don't know what's the last contest I won. I don't even know. Uh, the last contest I won was that Toyota thing, but that was like. I don't know. I'm not sure. I. Th- about like ten grand. Ten I, won, grand? I won ten grand cash from Dreamline. Holy that shit! That was like a stack of money. You bring it on the plane with you? Yeah, I had to go to Woodward for a week. <laughs> you I went just... to Woodward for a week with ten <laughs> grand <in> cash. <laughs> yeah, I was just chilling in my bag. How old were you? Uh, I think I was eighteen. That's tight. Ten grand oh, is damn. tight. Those are some good contests too. Those yeah. Dreamline contests. I mean, the one in New Mexico was sick. The one through the hill. everyone couldn't breathe because it's so high up. Remember that shit? Oh yeah, everyone's getting like altitude poisoning. Yeah, and it was so the jumps are insane, but it looked like everyone has was having such a good time. Do you? Uh, is there a format, or would you like to see, or do you have an idea for a, a, an event or a contest in the future, or something that you would like to see? Because you've been to all the all the all the crazy ones, like that one in Amsterdam, that Red Bull one. Yeah, I don't know. I like, I really like like jam formats, just where it feels like you're just riding. And yeah. I don't know. That's like the best, the best feel for the rider. I feel like, because then you just whatever, like if you put like 20 minutes on a thing and just let everyone go, you, you know, could feed like, off each other's energy yeah, too. Yeah, sick. That's like the best. It's like a big session. Agree. Really, you know. Yeah. Let's talk about this free coaster movement that you got in a couple of years ago, and you've just taken over the park world with it. You like going backwards now, fast. Yeah, I don't know. Everything you do forward, you could do backwards too. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. I just, I just kind of got one and became obsessed with it. And can you do that. any flatland tricks? Uh, I learned like a boomerang from Alex Jumelin, but I only did it one time, and that was really, really hard. But still, it counts. Has anyone done, done a fakey, fakey backflip on a ramp? I don't know. Damn. 
Pat, let's see that shit. I don't know how you can really do get back. I've tried like fakey flare, like from uh, like on top of my box, but I know Kelly Bolton did a fakey front flip 360. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, front flip 180. I think yeah, front flip 180. Could you could you front flare? Me? No, I'm, I'm just trying to think if you could like. I don't know. Is there you anything do that hasn't been done? Yeah, a lot I of know, things. I did that. I did fakey cash roll, and that was. Was the most, the hardest one I've ever done. Where was that at? At my house. Oh, at the, the, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got worked on that thing, huh? Yeah, it took like 30-something tries. That's that's, that's a lot contest. for him, 30 tries? 30 tries. Dude, for us. Dude, that's a lot. Dude, for us, it takes us fucking 10 hours, probably 300 tries, well, dude. Well, I mean, diving fucking head first into the <laughs> yeah. 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 What's your go-to trick? Uh... Probably like a tail whip or 180 whip or something. I don't know. I've, I really liked tail whips growing up, and then that's just like super easy for me. What's the biggest handrail you've ever done? Uh, I did like a 20 stare at like some random. I went to a high school show, <laughs> like some <laughs> random high school show. It was like last year, some ASA high school show. Mm -hmm. And I had this, like, there were a bunch of kids walking by, and I saw this rail, and I was like, yo, come here. I gave the kid my phone. I'm like, no oh, way. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just like a student, I was like, I was like, yo, film us, like, so just passing periods, and then I hit the rail and I actually got it, and I was like, damn, sick. That's like the biggest one I've done. Did you get the clip? You get film? Yeah. It was El Toro. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we found out later the school was, was El Toro. Toro. <laughs> you ever jumped down El Toro? No. You been there? No, I didn't think I've been there. Let's take you there. Let's see if you can half cap it, oh, dude. All right. Half yeah. cap. <laughs> see what happened. <laughs> you guess there's like a littlest thing ever for him. It's like, oh, this shit's easy. <laughs> What uh? What inspires you? What inspires me? Uh, my kids inspire me. I would say because, I mean, got to provide for them and I guess live my life for them a little bit. So it's like, I don't know. There's always someone I have to take care of a little bit. So that's pretty inspiring. I'd say like, not that I have to do good or anything, but you got to take care of someone, you know. And I have to guide these people to be able to live a life by themselves you know because i don't know you're in this world by yourself how long do you think you can uh, keep doing this whole pro biker thing you got going on i don't know i'm trying to figure not trying to figure something else out but it'd be nice to have like something else that i can just ride for fun instead of as a professional not necessarily as a not ride as a professional but have any pressure so I could just ride. I have an it. investment opportunity for you if you're interested. Yeah, I'm interested. Let's start the Pat Casey Catfish Spaghetti and Meatball Burrito food truck. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of Spaghetti and Meatball Burrito? No. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you think Reed's going to do? Italian? What's that? Are you Italian? No. no, I speak Italian though. Do you think Reed's going to be a, a dirt bike racer or BMX rider or both? I don't know. Whatever he wants, really. I'm not, I'm not pushing him to get, do one That's or the other. It's just he likes to do both and whatever. He'll, he'll like, I don't know. Basically, he's, he'll call me a fucking asshole like if I tell him to do something or whatever and it doesn't, it doesn't work out right. You know what I mean? Yeah. How he thinks it was supposed to. Like I was building him, I built him like a whole track behind the ramp for dirt bikes and uh, I put like a roller in front of this jump because he was just blasting it to flat every time and would blow up, like go over the bars and stuff. And I was like, dude, it's cause you're just hitting it way too fast. Like you gotta chill out. And I put a roller and he hit the roller and he's like, see, you fucking asshole. Like, got all, I'm like, dude, you better chill. You're four years old right now. Like, <laughs> Does he learn that from you guys? I don't know, the probably just listen from the music that's being listened to. Damn, trap music. The, the Baby Shark. You know? The Baby Shark, <laughs> God. I, Do you know the Baby Shark song? Yes, I, when he put it on, his first because it's on your Instagram today, yeah. right? I skip up because I can't hear it because it'll get in stuck. stuck in my brain. Yeah, and fun. Eric Lichtenberger puts it on the stories. I have to, I have to exit it because it's like... It gets in there and you can't. Uh, like, no, I cannot do it. It's, <laughs> I just tap and like, I'm out. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Believe in conspiracies. I don't know about. Give me exactly a, what that. do you what do you believe in? Give me a good conspiracy theory that you uh -huh. question. Think about. Do you think Bush did nine eleven? I was just about <laughs> to ask you that. Oh God, I don't know. No. That's a, that's a deep one. Yeah, I don't know. That's like almost as deep as your flat Earth. Just 
society. We're not. Do you really believe that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Dude, I think I got bit by something here. I'm itching here and here. I don't know. There's always conspiracies. Who killed JFK? I don't know. I was just in uh, Dallas, though, and we were, drove by that street, and I was like, wow, this is where he got shot. It's a weird the thing. I just crazy. saw a video where they showed the, they slowed it down, and the driver turns around and does something like this, and then turns back around. Like, yeah. he pulls something out over his shoulder, and people are saying the driver did it. God damn. There's all these crazy. I saw another one. I was listening to it last week where it was something like uh, you he know, was allergic. You know all the conspiracies. Yeah, he was allergic <laughs> to like shellfish or something, and they they shot him with a shellfish gun. It went into his brain. Some crazy, yeah, some crazy thing. Where I don't remember. Nobody what will that, never know. To make sure that he died, like it wasn't just like a bullet. The bullet missed, but I don't even know. Nobody will ever know. His fucking you know. brains blow out the back of his head. You know. You know. You were right there, right where it happened. I mean, I drove by it. I didn't fucking watch that shit like 70 years ago, but... <laughs> well, yeah, because you're only like 10 years old, but... <laughs> you ever been on... You, you in the TV at all? You watch TV shows? Uh, No, not really. Netflix? Yeah, we only got Netflix. What you, would you watch on Netflix? Anything good? Uh, lately, we've been watching Bondi Rescue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's like a random ass one that we've been watching. And then... I don't know. Like, my wife... She watched like the all the Stranger Things, all that shit. Like, yeah. Whatever, like whatever shows. I was out of the loop. I saw this Black Mirror. Is that what it is? Yeah. Ever see that? Planet um, Earth is a shit too. I watched the yeah, first one when this guy had to have sex with a pig, and it was insane. Of what? What? What is Dude, that? Dude, it was like <laughs> Planet Earth. No. <laughs> oh no! I was like, what the fuck? It was some weird, like I, I don't even know. National Geographic. Yeah, not <laughs> National Geographic. <laughs> I did. Speaking of National Geographic, if you're looking for a new uh, Instagram page to follow, there's one called Nature Is Metal, and it all it is is animals fucking each other up, like literally the gnarliest things. Like I, they, they posted one today. Have you seen Jurassic Park? Like? I that love that. So yeah. crazy. I love that. We should have started the the podcast with Jurassic. Yeah, Biden. you have probably the craziest Instagram out of anyone. I'm just trying to make people smile, my guy. Yeah, it's like <laughs> some of the shit you post. I have to watch it so many times. I'm just like, oh my god. You, you should see the stuff that I can't. I don't post. Like I get dudes in South Do people America. People send you those videos. Uh, all yeah, the time? all day long. It's like just like, hey, post this. Yeah, and I only try to post the ones that I've never seen, like people haven't seen before. But who? What? What Instagrams do you like to look at? If you high, if you high, <laughs> there's people what over up? here. There's probably. What up, Pat? What up? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Nice to see you. So, hey, you guys, you hi. guys, you guys know the guy. Yeah. I started this fucking website. We just want to show you. Oh, Adam started a website. He started a website. <laughs> <laughs> I started this goddamn website. Yeah. Hey, be sure they they know that you're the third best jujitsuist <laughs> in Long Beach in 2013. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go hang we're gonna out. We're gonna, go, on gonna live go hang out on the live stream. They probably have like them. thirty million people watching right now. Yeah, well, uh, the live stream. Yeah, it's what a wild. It it's, it's it's a wild. Just what he's got going on is a wild. Yeah, I've seen everything scene. you guys been doing here is insane. Right. Yeah, we thank you for coming out, man. We need to do. We need to go to your house and hang out yeah, and do right. some vlog shit and yeah, all that shit. Down. What are we at? Especially once, I think we're once all this shit's legit. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe we go do it and that makes it even better. Yeah, like doing shit illegally at Pat Casey's house, yeah. or we just go visit your motherfucking neighbor. I don't know if you've seen my uh, "How to Build a Dirt Jump" video, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, are you not vlogging anymore, are you? No. What happened to that? I don't know, dude. I made like twelve videos, and then I just after that, I was like, dude, I'm just not fucking motivated to do this, really. Yeah, it's not for know. everybody. Yeah, and yeah, I, you have I do to stay not. On I do it. not enjoy <clears throat> sitting and talking to a fucking object, regardless if there's people behind. Yeah. Whatever, like. No holding offense, the viewers. Camera, holding the camera. Well, it's not the viewers. It's the yeah. fucking camera. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. You know? So it's, I don't know. I just, it's not for me necessarily. If, if I was with someone, I had like a filmer or whatever, maybe, but. The hell was that? I don't know. I yeah. don't, I'm not like, hey, everyone, blah, 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 you know, all yeah. the time. So You're more low key. And that's why we thank you for coming out because we know. We, we yeah, never see been, shit we like this. We've been talking about yeah. it for a while, so it's awesome that you got to come out. And yeah, thanks talk for a having bit. me. Anything else you want to cover? We covered the good stuff. We covered the stolen food story. I don't know if there's anything else you can future. think about. You well, know. you're going to be all over the earth this year. Everybody can follow you on your Instagram. We'll put it on the... Uh, on the we'll put it in the, the description. <laughs> and good <laughs> luck at everything. Good luck uh, Thank you. Olympic qualifiers this year. 
USA Cycling, the whole the whole nine. We're pulling for you. Yeah, thanks. California boy. Fuck yeah, you better win. This is America. <laughs> you better represent well, us well. I mean, Basically, I'm gonna fucking be trying to do that for to save my yard now. You yeah, know, like. USA. Well, yeah, I mean, did you did you tell the motherfucker that you're an Olympic athlete? Yeah, they should they should be helping you know. out with that. But yeah, he's so know. modest; like they never do that. Like when we go out, I'm always the guy that's like, "Give us a nice table." This guy's an Olympic athlete, dude. But the crazy sponsors come out too. Ram is on fucking Visa. Is that because of Olympics? Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like. Japan, everything. I don't know. I'm pretty Damn, you're sure. gonna be on Tide and fucking all these other crazy companies. Get a condom sponsor. Man, yeah, you don't need it. You got. Yeah, maybe I do need it. <laughs> <laughs> you got two kids. Do all you right. want to uh, thank anybody? Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I mean, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I'd like to thank my family, my wife, uh, my parents, all my sponsors. I'd like to thank you guys for having me out here. Who are your so sponsors? This is my first podcast: uh, Monster, Vans, Fox, Ethica, Bell. Uh, I mean, Mongoose. Mongoose. List goes on. Toyota Dude, trucks. Trees, fucking, I don't know everything. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. I, I don't know. Sorry if I forgot. Anything. No, you're. No, he's good. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We're right. super, super stoked to have you. Good luck this season. See you out on the course, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Y'all been watching the TCU. TV. We do BMX. My name's Catfish Swagger Jacker. That is Mr. Nate Richter. And this was our homie. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.